Hey everybody, welcome to the three-way podcast show. This is Linkster 101, the man behind the magic, JRX4. Hi. Uh, Damn, I look can... super white. I'm super white? Me. I don't even have lights on me. Okay. I think it's the sunlight. <laughs> but it's not even with sun outside. I know. So... <laughs> I think it's just uh, the angle. But uh, welcome aboard, guys. Uh, uh, so Los is not here. He won't be able to make it today. Rip. Per- for personal reasons, per- personal reasons, personal reasons, for personal reasons. Um, so uh, we'll just go ahead and move along. Please like and subscribe. Ring the bell below if you like our content. Yo, uh, you already know where to find us. We're on Twitter, Instagram, Yo. Facebook, all that jazz. Yo, all right. Uh, Elias is gonna put the links down below. So uh, we have a couple of things to get into today, but uh, I want to start off with gaming. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Game, game over. over I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Rest, uh, rest in peace, Fortnite Chapter One. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even a thing until this started. Like, <laughs> rest I didn't even peace. know the first part of Fortnite yeah. was Chapter One. Yeah, I didn't know it was Chapter One either. I thought it was just Fortnite, but I thought it was just Fortnite peace, too. Fortnite Chapter One. Now we have Fortnite Chapter Two. Now, guys, I don't play this much. I know a lot of people do. I know a lot of NBA, NFL players. A lot of little kids. A play lot of little it. kids play it. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I guess. But a little kid won like how much? I think it was a million dollars. Oh, you're talking about that Fortnite tournament. Yeah, it was like a million dollars. A million dollars? And then his dad was crying, like, saying it's okay. Like, you just won a million dollars. It's okay. I'll take half. Yeah, I'll take half. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he basically he, got, I like, for six, your systems. But he right? got, like, 600000 because uh, they take, like, 400 in taxes. No, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know. But, I yeah. Uh, too for that. So, Fortnite Chapter 2, uh, basically, <clears throat> I think this is more like Fortnite 2 because it's been, like, what, two, three years since Fortnite was released. Yeah, it's a long uh, time. Yeah, and like the game was actually getting pretty stale from my understanding. I stopped playing it like a long time ago. Um, so this is like a revamp for them because it's, it's a new map. Like the whole map is new. Uh, there's some new mechanics involved in the game. Um, you can swim. You can go fishing. <laughs> uh, so it's I, like The Sims. I guess. I don't know. I have The Sims. I just never played it. Uh <laughs> But in this one, um, there's also, I think what they also added, because as we all know, Fortnite got really competitive. Like like JP said, there was like a tournament, right? Um, that had like a million dollars uh, prize pool or even more. I it think was it was more. I think it was up to $30 million prize pool. But the thing is, is that the game got really competitive and got really hard for, for you, for me, casual players who don't play this shit every day yeah. in, day out. So what they did... Is that they added um, bots to the game. So you're playing against AI, not just real people now. And honestly, it's so funny because I see this all the time now on Twitter, on Facebook. Like, oh my God, I just jumped into Fortnite and I got my first win. I got like eight kills. Woo! I'm like, oof. I don't want to be the one to break it to them. It's all AIs. <laughs> like, the only, the only thing you beat was a robot. Like, And I played I played it. Like, when you, play, when you start up the new season or the new chapter two... Like, it starts you off like that. Like, right in the game. As soon as you boot up the game, you're already in the game. Like, it shows you a little trailer, and then, like, it shows you the character jumping out of the bus, and then as soon as that happens, you're in the game. Oh, wow. So you're in the game. It doesn't even give you, like, a start menu, nothing. So you're in the game, you're playing, and, like, you're playing against bots. Like, literally bots. Like, I- I've seen it. Like, you're, like, walking around, and, like, they're- you see them, and you're like, oh, shit, I gotta shoot them. And then, but they're-, they're so stupid. They're just, like, they look at you for a second, they walk around. And then try to pick up something, and then they try to shoot you, but they like the aim is awful. I'm like, wow. So like, they make it like super easy for you. Yeah, they made it super easy. Basically, they're trying to get that 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 core audience back, the the, the casuals. Yeah. Because like like I said, it got really difficult. But so far, chapter two has been um, it's been uh like praised. It's like being like you know everybody likes it so far. Well, like, I mean, they had to shut down fucking Fortnite for two days. Oh yeah, like so, bitching, so all that bitching I heard on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. So prior to chapter two being released. <laughs> Uh, so I think the season ten, or I think that's this last season, chapter one was released, and it's like it was like called the end or something. And apparently, what happened is that there was a black hole that sucked up everything. And literally, if, if you were playing the game, everything was sucked up. Even if you were in, like in the start menu, it was sucked up. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it was just a black hole for like two days straight, and kids were crying. There was parents. <laughs> yeah, there was parents. There was parents. Who was like, wait. I put V bucks into like real money into this. Yeah. Like, well, what the fuck? Where's my game at? And it was all quiet until like two days later, where they started chapter two. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, stop playing Fortnite, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck Fortnite, man. 
Uh, but yeah, that's what happened with the, in the Fortnite. But something that I'm kind of interested in, mm-hmm. um, which I don't know. So Google Stadia, Stadia, the, Google Stadia is going to be released on November 19th. Now I'm gonna have some extra change around this time. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I don't feel like there's a lot of excitement in the air for it. I would recommend getting it now. Get the the Founders Edition. Because you get like that ex- that cool limited edition controller, you get first dibs on your name. But I don't think a lot of people will have your name. Um, well, and, now they will. And you get the Google Chromecast uh, to connect to your TV. You get um, like a subscription to the pro ser- service they have, and you get Destiny Two for free. I guess with the Destiny DLC. Two. Man, <laughs> look, I. I I mean, it's not expensive. It's like a hundred. It's like one thirty. One. It's not expensive. It's not too expensive. I mean, the the I just bought the switch. It was more expensive than that, and I bought no. it used. So, I I just don't feel the excitement. Usually with Xbox and PlayStation, like there's yeah. a lot of people who are excited and you feel pumped, especially with the game lineup. But it's this. There's not even a real game lineup. It's it's games that I already got. Like, I I I mean, is it just me or maybe I'm just being a Debbie Downer? I just I don't see any excitement at all. Um, I don't think the excitement is with what games are being released, but how you're playing the games. Because, uh, like, the whole gimmick for Google Stadia is that you're able to play it anywhere you want. All you need is the controller. And you don't even need the Google controller. Like, you can just use your regular controller for Xbox, PlayStation. And if you want to use those, that's fine. All you got to do is have the Google uh, Stadia account. So, say you bought, you have a Stadia account, you bought uh, Fortnite. Or whatever, not not Fortnite, fucking Destiny Two, right? So you, if you have the Chromecast right now, they're trying to like, um, like get more access to it everywhere. But right now, I think for the TVs, is you need the Google Chromecast. But anyways, you have the Google Chromecast, you have an account, you didn't buy the the controller, you can use your Bluetooth controller like your Xbox One or PlayStation, and then you can um just connect it and play your game just like that. You don't need like Xbox Live, you don't need PlayStation Now or whatever it's called Live, uh. You don't need none of that. You just need an account. I don't know. I don't know. I, if I have extra money that I'm willing to spend, mm-hmm. but it's 130 dude. I could buy myself a whole bunch of I mean, of stuff. No, you don't have to buy that one, but that's like the beginner one where, like, if you want to be one of the first to play and have your name, like, that's the recommended one. But you don't have to have that. I think it's free just to have a Stadia account. And then, like, it's kind of like where with Xbox where, or PlayStation where you buy a game on their system – and you, it's yours. That's it. And you can play it anywhere you want. That's that's the whole gimmick with this whole thing. Uh, I kind of feel like holding off on it until I see more. Okay. Yeah, no. I mean, right now, the whole thing, too, is like, is it going to have, like, like proper connectivity whenever you're playing on your phone or something? Because I have Google TV. Mm-hmm. I have the Google TV. So, I I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, am I excited? No. Not really. I, I'm, I'm apprehensive. I want to see exactly... Mm-hmm. What you have? Yeah. Um, will I buy it if I if I see you know that it's legit? Of course I will. I certainly will. But you know, I I just need more. I need they they should have their own game, something that was new. They no, they actually have a bunch of uh, developers from other studios come in in house, and they have their own developer company now. So they are making exclusive games for their system or for their system, quote unquote. So that's yet to be seen. Of course, we know that Google owns YouTube, and there's a lot of YouTube integration in here too. Say you're stuck in a level, you can go like really quickly search it up, and it, it up. and it comes up on the screen with yeah. you. Yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. I want to see how it, how it plays out completely. Uh, of course, I think you're gonna have better connection whenever you're at home. But the whole thing too is like you're able to play this anywhere. So as long as you have like well, that's internet the cash. That's supposed to be like that's that's where it's supposed to draw you in. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. I look. November my birthday month. I have some, <laughs> I have some change left over. I, I I probably will go ahead and try this out. But uh, I, and you know what? It's not that I'm wishing bad for Stadia. Stadia. Uh, <laughs> I'm not wishing bad for them. I really hope that it works out because it means brings more games. I mean that's that's why not only Google Stadia is doing this, but so is PlayStation, so is Xbox, and I believe Nintendo is working with Microsoft in order to do the same. But, I mean, right now, it looks like the first ones out of the gate are going to be, excuse me, <clears throat> are going to be Google Stadia to show us, like, like internet gameplay that's to supposed be honest, to be console levels. I don't even think it's going to be sold out. 
I honestly believe no, I'm it's not. It, it's not. I, so I, I have time to think about it. Uh, you know, I, I'm wishing them well. The more competition, the better. I'm tired of Nintendo, Xbox, and just PlayStation. Let's let's throw another one out there. Let's mm-hmm. throw like two or three more and see what sticks. And 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 this this helps out all the gamers and and you know other developers that are creating new games. But yeah. I, I, let us know how, what you guys think. Like, uh, uh, let us know in the comments. And yeah, for sure. See if you guys are gonna get. It. If you guys are gonna get it, also let us know exactly how it goes because. Uh, well, we'll see. Los is gonna get it. Los is getting it. Yeah. So Los we'll have a review it. on it, and I'll, we'll give you our honest opinion. I probably will get it myself just yeah. to see it, but we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah. So, anyways, right now, as we discussed on last uh, uh, episode, uh, Blizzard has been having a lot of difficulties. <laughs> a lot. Um, they have been hit hard with this whole controversy regarding uh, China, China. Blitzchung. Uh, yeah, well, well not Blit, no, but he's from China. But, yeah, yeah. So Blitz Chung, we all know the situation. They took his winnings because he voiced his opinions on the ongoings of Hong Kong in China. Uh, Blizzard took action, took all his winnings, mm-hmm. uh, banned him from tournaments. Uh, they got so much backlash from gamers, yeah, and that they gave him some of his winnings back. They didn't all the way ban him, from what my understanding is. Yeah, it went from a year to six months. But in the United States, here, you know, they're hitting Blizzard hardcore because Blizzard is an American-based company. Yeah. So even senators are va- voicing their opinions. Oh in, yeah, they say they had a letter from. They, uh, they had a letter for yeah. them saying that they're yeah. very disappointed. Uh, and, and basically, you know, there's a lot of backing of uh, Blitzchung now. And not only that, the right to have your own voice. Uh, so, uh, no, uh, just to go over this a little bit, like, I kind of understand where Bl- Blizzard's at, too. It's money. It, it Not just money, but it's also like, man, you're trying to protest on my platform. Correct. And, like, I'm paying you to do something that's just game involved. But you want to bring something else that's more political involved? Like, no. Like, it's even in their rules saying, like, don't do that. You know what I mean? Well, so I, I kind of get them. I, I understood, like, even even with the ban, like, or the suspension, six months is a bit too much. It should have been lower, but there should have been a suspension regardless. The thing is, it's like the same thing is with the NFL. The same thing is with the NBA. Yeah. It's, it's, every, it's my job. Like, you keep politics out of your job, yeah. okay? And I know a lot of people find it controversial what I'm going to say right now, but if you're in the NFL, you're a football player, you keep politics out. It's a football game. It's a basketball game. It's a baseball game. You know, at my job, I'm not allowed, per human resources, to comment it. So, mm-hmm. I understand Blizzard's point of view. Yeah, I do too. That's what I'm saying. I get it, 100%. My thing was, you went overboard they did. by yeah. taking his winnings. Okay, you banned him six months? Perfectly fine. Give the man his winnings because he earned them. Yeah. Oh, six months. Hey, man. Which we're, we're and th- you could have done what Timmy Furtado for Tita. What's his name? Tommy. <laughs> what's his name from the Rockets? The Rockets owner. Yeah. yeah. He, where he came out, he said, "We are not a political organization or, or political team or whatever the hell he called it." Like you do the same thing. Blizzard could have said a statement. Hey, we're not involved in politics. We're just letting you know we have this on our rules and our guidelines. Please don't abuse it again. No. But they didn't. They basically backed, and then they wrote a different letter to China. So, I mean, it, it sucks to be them. And then, you know, they had this Overwatch thing in New York. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, the, the release the launch for Overwatch on Switch. Nintendo, and, and they had to cancel it. That's yeah. how bad this backlash is. And it's not just Blizzard. It's a lot of companies. Yeah. Uh, just a lot of companies are keeping hush-hush about it. But China is, the I think, the biggest population. It's, all- it's, it's basically one of the biggest uh, draws for money for these companies there. Yeah. Especially, especially companies like, like let's say, I don't know, Nike. Nike. Uh, who else? Well, I think I think Epic Games too. The guys who uh, make Fortnite are like hundred percent, are like forty percent owned by one of the Chinese companies there too. Lord, man, they're they're in everything, man. Man, that company Tencent on its own, man. That's that's like that's I I know I feel like that's a government owned company because that company is in everything. Like you ever look into like where Tencent is at? They're everywhere, dude. But yeah, like uh, Blizzard ended up canceling their uh, New York launch event because of the whole controversy they were having. But it's interesting to see what's gonna happen after this because they still have BlizzCon coming up November first. Oh, that's gonna be a cute, cute event. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna watch it. I never watch their shit. I'm <laughs> I know, but that's funny too because there was like talks about like you know there's no such thing as bad publicity because now like you like you just said like you don't watch this shit, but now that this yeah. happening. I kind of want to see what that's gonna yeah, happen. No, and because you remember when they did the the Diablo, 
yeah. uh, on the phone, uh, and the yeah. and the the the, the shit talking they took, and like they were getting all butt hurt. Like everybody has a phone. Everybody has a phone. <laughs> like like dude, that shit is like fucking gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I probably will pay attention to this just because of that. All I right. mean, but uh, you know, uh, I, I I can't. As a, someone who, who works for for because uh, I work for a debt settlement company and you got to think of the business side of things, like I understand Blizzard's point of view. I just feel like their PR team went about it the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, if they would have managed it correctly and thought about all perspectives instead of just uh, emotionally reacting to it, I think they would have been better off. But you know, hopefully, this is a lesson to everybody. You know, keep keep politics out of all that stuff, man. We're trying to have fun here. Yeah. Uh, but let's go ahead and speaking about fun, let's jump into sports. Uh, it's a home, home run, run. touchdown, touchdown. Goal. rock and roll, Houston Goal. Texans. What? Yes, <laughs> yes, sir. Sports, space. Sports. So, uh, as you guys know, um, the Houston Astros uh, beat the New York Yankees, Elias' favorite team, um, to go to the World Series. Uh, I'm not a big baseball fan. Uh, Lowe's is, uh, he was excited. We, we were actually together with my family yesterday and we were watching the game and, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I fell asleep. Um, <laughs> I, like three or four people fell asleep. That's how boring baseball was, but I'm happy for the city of Houston. I, I was born and raised in Houston. I used to follow the Astros back in the day. Don't do that anymore. And, uh, you know, I'm happy for the city. The city's super excited. Uh, it looked like it was a hard fought game. I mean, the Yankees came back on them. Yeah, they were, I think it was 2-4, and then they hit a, mm-hmm. a two-run homer. And my favorite reaction to all and of like, this, and I got to talk about the this. The eighth, I believe. Uh, mm-hmm. the, my, my favorite reaction is the New York Yankees, like with their stupid New York accents. And, like, they're over <laughs> here talking shit. And, like, there's on Twitter, they're like, we're coming back. And, like, then you see how Tuve, uh, Tuve score the home run. Yeah. And then, like, their faces. And there's this guy called Nick Taturo. Uh, from New York, oh, he's, a, he's an actor. It's hilarious, dude. It's just a hilarity when you see New York Yankee fans like cry and bitch and moan, and they're horrible fans. From what I've seen in the videos, when uh, when other teams go there, man, they treat no. those fans like shit. But anyway, congratulations to the Houston Astros. They're gonna Woo! go face face uh, the uh, Washington Nationals. Washington Nationals World Series. Have you ever met a Washington Nationals fan, ever? If we don't live in Washington, boy. I don't, but I don't, is it, is it, I mean, I, <laughs> usually I see, I've seen New York Yankees, I've seen Dodgers. Well, it's because that's a big, those Detroit. are bigger franchises. Like, the Nationals are really not that big, like, like, fan base, fan base wise. Fan base wise? Yeah. yeah, I've never met one. So, you know, I'm 32. It's been a while. I, I've never met one. But, um, congratulations to them as well. Uh, I believe they were underdogs. And they actually who the Astros? No, the the, oh the Nationals, yeah. And so they they got it through. It reminds me of like when the Astros went against the White Sox in 2005, and we were the underdogs, and we still got swept. So you know, hopefully the Astros uh, uh, sweep them, and you know, yay baseball, yay baseball. <laughs> I'm sure Los is gonna have his own little it's thing a home to go over, run. you know, with the Astros. I like I said, I don't know much. Uh, I, ha- I haven't been watching them for a while, but I did watch the game last night. It was, I mean, I can tell you, the Houston fans were were all into it. Yeah. I left early. I was like, I'm not gonna be stuck in this goddamn traffic when all these mother- drunk motherfuckers come out. Yeah, uh, there was hockey. a lot of people at Academy last night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, and did you see they were interviewing, and then like there was like this grandma, and the grandma's like, "Oh, I didn't watch none of the Astros. I just came here to buy T-shirts for my grandson." And I was like, damn, that's, that's a real grandma. I wish yeah. my grandma would do that. My grandma's like, fuck no. I nah, my grandma's a punk. But anyway, <laughs> so moving along with sports, also the backlash. Speaking of China in the previous uh, 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 previous second to last subject. Mm-hmm. So China is like, fuck LeBron James. They are literally burning his jerseys over there. Uh, he opened his mouth. Because James Harden also wrote a letter. Uh, oh, did he? I don't know. Yeah, he, he J- James Harden wrote a letter. Um, saying, you know, hey, we're not a political organization. We don't really know, you know, we don't know what we're talking about. Because James Harden is mostly neutral. Um, he's like a businessman. He knows he makes a lot of money there, and he knows Houston Rockets make a lot of money there. Uh, but LeBron James came out, and he said, you know, Daryl Moore is incorrect. He was misinformed. Uh, he didn't know what he was talking about. He said the same thing about James Harden. The backlash in Hong Kong has been severe. So in Well, <clears throat> I mean, the thing is, is that no, I mean, like, as far as like being like pro China is what he's making it seem, but what what we're seeing in terms of the jersey burnings of the people who are like against the the way uh, the the whole free China, free Hong Kong thing, 
the protesters are the ones doing that. Yeah, so I I feel like, and not even here. There, he's getting a lot of uh, a lot of attack and a lot of uh, uh, anger here in the United States too, because they're like, oh, you know, you, you're willing to protest here in America because uh, you're free to do so, but you don't want to do that for people who actually need that type of freedom I, in China. I think we talked about this last week. Yeah, but the thing is, is I think I think what James was trying to say was like, look, we're in their country right now. And you're bringing some, a little bit of heat on us, and you know, like shit yeah. can go down. Yeah, he, he, he basically so did it with money. It's it's basically he, money. I feel like he was like more like, can you like shut the fuck up until we leave before you say I, something? I think <laughs> I think that would have been their best bet. The NBA does not need China, in my opinion. It's just money because before that, before all this, they still made money. So I I I, I get some of LeBron's point as far as money wise, because you gotta think as a businessman. But uh, he's getting a lot of heat for it. Um, he better be, be the MVP of the league this year because they're going to kill him. They're going to kill him. And every city that he goes to, especially down here down south, they're going to be booing his ass. Uh, so, yay, I'm going for the Clippers. And, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's pretty much that. And also big news in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Um, it, and it's pretty big. Pat Mahomes uh, injures his knee. Mahomes. He, he dislocated his, his knee. Uh, they pop, they popped it back in place, and he was able to walk. They did an MRI. He's fine, but he's going to be out for a certain amount of time. And this could affect the standings in the NFL because – and, and, and I, don't, I blame Andy Reid. Who the hell does a quarterback sneak when you know your quarterback has a messed up leg? That's just stupid. But, hey, it's Andy Reid. That's why he lost the Super Bowl against the Patriots. Um, according to the Bleacher Report, Pat Mahomes reportedly won't need surgery to address the dislocated no. kneecap mm-hmm. and is facing three to five weeks of sidelines. Correct. According to the Ian Rappaport. Now the NFL. backup for uh, <laughs> the backup for Kansas City is like Daniel Moore. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. He was from uh, 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 he was with Miami last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're not gonna do much. So you think this is it for the Chiefs? I don't think it's it for the Chiefs, but I think they're gonna be pushing for a playoff sp- a playoff spot. It's I mean, just in their division. The Chargers are playing like shit. Denver's playing like shit, but you do have Oakland, and mm. Oakland is, uh, I believe, going to be three and two. So mm. Oakland is their best bet. If Oakland wins that division, Chucky looks like a genius. No, yeah. just letting y'all know. But a lot of it rides on Patrick Mahomes, and they're gonna try to push him to come back early. And that's the thing: if you push him to come back early, yeah. he might reaggravate. But it's big news because it basically allows the Patriots to have like. A free reign to go to the Super Bowl. No. Uh, Patriots have the easiest schedule in the NFL, as always. And so, you know, they're in the easiest division. So, yeah, the, the only team I see, even in competition, which they still would lose, would which they have a, they do have a game is the Texans. But the Texans, when they play the Patriots, uh, Bill O'Brien just coaches like a, like a moron. So, <laughs> uh, I don't expect much there. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much big news in, in, uh, in sports. That finishes for us in sports. So let's ho- go ahead and jump into pop culture. Pop, pop. culture. So uh, we know that there's a new Batman being created. The people, Batman uh, a lot starring people, Robert Pattinson. A lot of people don't like Robert Pattinson. I do not. I don't see how he has acting chops, but whatever. Yeah, I haven't seen the latest of Robert Pattinson, man. He's a pretty good actor. How? I've seen his I mean, in Twilight. Trash. That's what I'm saying. You've seen old Robert. You need to see the new Robert. Man, new Robert sucks, man. He's the same yeah. thing as old. You're going to be praising this movie when it comes out? Hey, hey, look. I'm, I'm willing to change my mind. Hey, you know. That's a first. You know, I'm willing to change my mind. I'm always willing to change my mind. That's if I'm first. right, I'm right. That's a first. So, we also are aware <laughs> that Zoe Kravitz, which to me. Is, I think this is a bad hire. That's a bad hire, too. <laughs> that's why I'm like, I'm willing to change my mind, but I doubt they're going to do it. So, Zoe Kravitz will be the Catwoman opposite uh, Pattis- Pattison's Batman, and I. Before you guys start, I just feel like she's ugly. <clears throat> in my personal opinion, um, <coughs> I feel like if you. Really, I mean, you're saying that like compared to who who the other Catwoman was. No, all the Catwoman have been hot. That's what I'm saying. And she's ugly, like ugly. Like if I saw her in the street, I'd be like, man, this old hood ass, raggedy ass girl. <laughs> like that, that. That's what I would look at. Like. She she looks ugly. I don't. Maybe they'll fix her up. Makeup makeup does wonders nowadays. Uh, but they could have gone. They could have gone with. Uh, uh, they could have gone with. Uh, what's her name? Uh, cool. the one from. Um, uh, um, Megan is it Megan Good? They could have gone Megan. Megan Good, so fine. Megan Good. Get Megan Good. 
Like, isn't she like not an actress anymore? Doesn't matter, but she would have been better looking than this girl. I'm sorry, Catwoman's supposed to be like this super hot chick. You can mm, making good is 38. I don't think she can play Catwoman. The, what's this 38? Holly Berry played her when she was 40. What are you talking about? No, I know, but they were supposed to be like like younger. How old is Robert? Robert Pattinson. Oh, they have to be around the same age. Okay, get Zendaya. Zendaya's prettier than her. Zendaya's like a little kid, no? I don't know how old she... No, she's like 22, 23. Get Selena Gomez. Get a, a Megan Fox from Transformers. Like, get someone hot, man. Zendaya Lord Jesus, have mercy. She has Spider-Man, though. She can't be leaving that. I don't know, man. Like, I, I just feel it's a bad hire. I think that that girl's ugly. They could have got Alicia Keys. I still really think what Alicia Keys would look fine. Alicia Keys and her look the same. What do you mean? No, they don't. Yeah, no, they, they do. Alicia, Alicia, Alicia Keys is hotter. Do, Alicia Keys doesn't wear makeup anymore. She she looks she'll look like a Zoe Kravitz. I don't know. I just <laughs> I just don't like it. If you if you're gonna do it, get someone. Look, oh, and then we got the Riddler. Look, look. You know who the Riddler is too? I don't like Zoe. Because she, I don't think she's a very good actress. What, that's, what, that's my issue because I've seen her in other movies. What movies? What movies? <clears throat> she was in Mad Max. She was horrible. She was in First Class. She was horrible. Yes. I mean, she's very forgettable. For her to be in this movie. They're just pushing her. I, I don't think. know. I don't know. Maybe it's because she has a small role. It's not too big. But I don't know. I, I don't I wouldn't like her Anne as Hathaway Catwoman. was good. Halle Berry was good. Mm, that Pfeiffer Hathaway in that dress. Mm. Like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I, I, we'll see. I, I don't think she's attractive at all. Uh, I don't like, care about her attractiveness. I just no, care I about care her, her acting. Her, the, her character's supposed to be super hot. I don't matter. Man. And it's not. So, no, I disagree. I think she was also in the, what's those movies called? The, oh and, my God. And, and then they have the Riddler too. They have their new Riddler. The guy that was in, yeah, look it up. I believe I saw this. Like uh, they, they also have the role for the Riddler. It's that guy that uh, uh, in that movie Blood Money or what's it called, where like it's like it's an oil and like he's like the pastor or whatever. Mm. There will be blood. Okay. You never <laughs> seen that movie? There will be blood. No. Bro. Okay. He was in. Uh, man, what's what's his man? What's his name? I don't know. Man, there would be. Man, I'm gonna look it up. I I know. I know. His name is at the tip of my tongue. Um, Paul Dano? Yes. Yes. Him. He will be the Riddler. Paul Dano. He will be the Riddler. So um, he's been uh, uh, he's been cast as the Riddler as well. So we do have that. So we have a little bit of silence here as far as the Batman movie that is supposed to come out. I don't even know if it's going to be good. What what day is uh, what, uh, what date set, date is supposed to be set out? Mm, 2021. 2021. I mean, they have time. They have time. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, I'm not really looking forward to the Batman one, especially the way things are going, but who knows? Maybe it'll change. Uh, also, uh, Disney uh, Plus reveals its initial lineup for its streaming service on day one, and there is mm. one particular thing that I'm super excited about. <laughs> what? Gargoyles. So they did, <laughs> they did announce that they're going to release the, uh, uh, the cartoon Gargoyles, and I'm so pumped because that was one of my favorite cartoons. I remember when I, the, the movie came out for Disney, it was so ahead of its time. Like, literally, great voice acting. Uh, uh, the storyline was great. I was always hoping for an actual uh, movie, but now they're going to release it just for the streaming services of Disney, which is just Gargoyles, the animated the animation or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, you you don't remember Gargoyles? Yeah, I do. So you never liked? Them? Yeah, it was alright. Bro, I was super pumped when I when I found out. So I'm definitely gonna get the Disney streaming service so I can watch they got, it. <clears throat> on top of Twitter thread, here are the available titles previously unannounced announced by Disney: 101 Dominations, A Bug's Life, Goofy Movie, Extremely Goofy Movie, Bambi, B- Bio, Bowl, Big Hero Six, Born in China, Cars, Fantasia, Finding Nemo, Finding Dory. Solo, Frozen, Fun and Friends. I mean, shit. List goes on and on and on. Star Wars, all the Star Wars movies up up until this, up until Clone Wars. Oh no, Clone Wars, Force Awakens, Return of the Jedi, uh, Good Dinosaur, The Rocketeer, Tron, the old one, Wall-E, Zootopia, uh, Toy Story, Thor. I mean, damn, dude, they have a lot of shit, and it's only like five bucks a month. Wow. Well, I'm gonna get the twelve ninety nine one. What the twenty nine what does it do the twelve ninety nine? Oh well, you get ESPN plus and Hulu? Yeah. Yeah. 
So I was thinking of just doing that. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah, so I'm excited for the Disney lineup. I probably will get it. It's going to come out. It's right around the corner about two weeks from now. Damn, so, and then they also got, like, the, the, the TV shows that are going to be exclusive. Yeah. Damn. That's going to be hard for Netflix to fight against. Nah. And I feel bad for Netflix because they were supposed to come out with Cowboy Bebop. And then Stephen Cho injured his knee. Oh, so yeah. they have to push production back seven, nine months. So it's basically yeah. a year. So uh, it's going to be crazy. Uh, but also, maybe Disney will get on this bidding war. Nah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, South Park uh, it right now is not the actual show itself, but just like there's a bidding war to stream <clears throat> South Park. No. It, it's currently on Hulu. It was on Netflix. So, you know, South Park is a pretty big show. Uh, right now, it's banned in China. Uh, <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> due to their Chinese episode. <laughs> Man, South Park pulls no punches. I, I like South Park. So, I'm willing to watch South Park. I'm just waiting to see exactly what they're going to pick. Um, I, the, the bidding war is up to $500 million right now, which is a lot. I mean, mm. how, much, how much was Friends? To stream it. I don't remember. A hundred million, I believe. A hundred million? I think so. Either a hundred million or something close to that. Because it was a lot. It was a lot. So this one is going is, is a lot too. And it has 23 seasons. So you know a lot of people watch South Park. People get high, watch South Park. Uh, people who sit at home, you know, want to have a good laugh, watch South Park. So it's a good show to stream. Um, so we'll see what, what occurs as far as who is picked. But that yeah. pretty much takes care of pop. Um, <clears throat> so uh, before we go, uh, what are you playing right now, Elias? Oh, you, we're doing what are we playing? What, what are we, we playing? Doing? I am in the middle of Apex Legends Season 3. How's that going? A lot of people are starting to play it. <clears throat> it's pretty good. I mean, it's fun. I have the season pass. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, they have this event right now where you can, like, when you play, you launch alone instead of usually with your team of threes. Um and you land on the old map because they have a new map now. But you land on the old map and it's like nighttime. And like basically you're trying to survive to be the last 10 people. Yeah. Because uh, once you die, you turn into like these creatures, whatever. And then, then you have to hunt down the people that are still alive. It's pretty cool. It's basically like like once you die, you turn into the bad guys or whatever. And then you try to like kill the other people. But prior to the last 10, everybody's like gunning for each other. But once the, the last 10 pop up, like... You see all, everybody on the map, like all the people that are still alive, and you become like teammates. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Um, been playing that. Been playing a lot of Destiny 2 again on PC. Uh, we finally finished the raid last Friday. Was it yet? Yeah, two days yeah, ago? Barely? Yeah, the first raid, the Leviathan raid. I think I beat that. Or I, I don't know if I played it or I got to that point. I don't remember. I got to hop on again. Yeah, <clears throat> we, we've been playing that. Um, and. This Friday, um, just a little plug on twitch.tv forward slash jrx4x. We do have a giveaway going on. Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> we're giving away Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If you guys want to make enter, just check out my Twitter page at jrx4x. Um, so, yeah, that's this Friday. That's the giveaway. And But for the details, go to the Twitter page for sure. Um, also, this Friday, though, uh, Outer Worlds comes out. Yeah. yeah. And I'm kind of like, I'm not a fan of Fallout games, but... This Obsidian game, I'm like, I'm going to give, give, give it a shot. It reminds me a lot of Bioshock. I'm going to give it a shot. It reminds me a lot of Bioshock. I think I'm going to have to get it, too. But well, uh, if you have the Xbox Game Pass, you'll get it already. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. It's pretty cool. Look, look. Listen, you have Xbox Live Gold? or I, 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 sh I think I should. All right, look. You can upgrade your account for $1, okay, to the ultimate Game Pass. And it's good for as long as you have gold. So you upgrade for one dollar, and for however long you still have gold, that's how long you'll have that. Just, just FYI. I just, <laughs> I, 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 I kind of stopped it. I remember, I just remember right now, I discontinued that. But, but yeah, I, I probably will. I do want to get the game tried out, so we'll see. There's what a lot I, of good games on there. They even what, added a Devil May Cry Five on there. Damn! Oh, yeah. I didn't have to buy that shit. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Oh well, I, I do like the game. I did enjoy the game. But uh, so what I'm playing right now is an old game. Uh, Octopath. Um, oh man, I hate you. I want to play that. Uh, it's actually fucking dope. Yeah, it uh, is. 
uh, what's it called? Octopath Traveler? Yeah. So for Nintendo, so I, I, Los has been pushing for me to get it, and I had already heard about it, and people that know me that know I like RPGs and shit like that. Yeah. So they're like, hey, you should really get it. Like, you'd be really good at it. So I started playing it, and man, that shit is dark as fuck. No. There's this part where, like, <laughs> there's this part where, like, this guy's, like, because you're, like, getting this character who's, like, a dancer or whatever, mm. and, like, but she's an actual stripper. Oh, shit. And she's a whore. <laughs> So she's a whore. yeah, so she no, she did that like she's a whore. Like they they sell her whatever. So like, and like this motherfucker's like you know use your mouth to appreciate me and like what I was like what the fuck some dark ass shit. And then like he has like this other dancer and he like stabs the shit out of her and just throws her off a cliff and he's like whore. And I was like what the fuck. <laughs> I was expecting like some fantasy Final Fantasy bullshit. You know what I mean? No. But it was it's crazy and. It actually has pretty good voice acting. Uh, uh, you get really into it. Uh, I really do enjoy it. And, like, it's so much because I'm just at the beginning. Like, Los was telling me, man, you're just at the beginning. Like, once you get to a certain point, the whole thing changes. So, that's what I'm playing right now. I'm trying to enjoy my Switch. Uh, any any final punch-outs? Uh, no, 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 I'm good. All right, I'll do my, my little rant. So, uh, as you guys know, uh, Houston Astros... Went to the World Series. Are uh, going to congrats the to them. Uh, I just want to say to all you bandwagon fans, just admit you're bandwagon fans, and just that it makes it easier for everybody to know that you're just a little bandwagon fan um, that just jumps on everything and that that's hyped up. Um, I've never seen so many people in Houston uh, before wear <laughs> or buy Astros jerseys and shit that I've never seen them. I I mean. You know, no, hey, I, there's family members that, you know, they never wore Astros gear until two or three years ago. <laughs> um, I, like, I just have a cousin right now who has, like, a, the, the Astros a hat, but it's like the star is half Astros, half Dallas Cowboys. And he's what? never seen, oh, he's shit. never seen fucking uh, baseball. So, to me, it's just like, y'all motherfuckers, <laughs> you motherfucking bandwagon fans up the ass. I'm not... I, I left the Astros a long time ago. I left them in the past as they should be, uh, in, in my point of view. And uh, baseball should be put in the past as well. But, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully by the time this comes out, uh, the Texans have beat the Colts. So that way we will be first place in the division. Yes, sir. So, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching us. Please like and subscribe down below. As I mentioned before, please comment anything you guys want us to cover, anything you guys think is worthy. Yeah. Um, we're trying to get this together and trying to have the whole gang here. Uh, so hopefully next week, well, I will not be here. I will be working, um, but we shall see. So uh, watch out for the Hump Day Show. It's on Wednesday. Um, uh, we'll, we'll let you know exactly what we're going to cover at that point in time. Yeah. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please follow us. Go check out uh, JRX Force uh, Twitch. Uh, yeah. Shit, I don't know. What do you kids call it now? The Twitch stream? What yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever. That's what it's called, Whatever Dad. they call it. And thanks for watching us. Peace. Okay, bye. bye.